Hi everyone, welcome to Confidently Be You. My name is Jennifer Shlomovich, and today I wanted to talk about the importance of just starting and focusing on progress instead of perfection. This week, my YouTube channel reached 53 subscribers. That may not sound like a lot, but to me, that is big progress. Around the end of 2017, I felt this pull to create a YouTube channel where I could create various types of inspirational content and do interviews about various topics and share inspirational stories. However, it took me a long time to be able to get it started. A lot of it was just stuff in my head. I have no problem talking to a room full of people, but speaking in video was very, very intimidating for me for a really long time. And so I had this idea and I would write about the idea and I had various notes on my idea, but I didn't act on my idea until around uh, late, late, it was like the summer of 2019, I took a very small action in looking up how to create a YouTube channel uh, on a basic level. And uh, I looked up graphics and so how to create it. So I created a Canva account and made the banner. And around the, I think it was like the summer of 2019, I created the channel Conquer Your Chaos, which was what I had in my head for a while wanting to call my channel. Um, so I created it and then I just, it just kind of sat there for, a while because again the easy part for me was building it but then taking the action and putting myself on it was like a whole other inner freak out that i was having <laughs> so then in early 2020 like right before the pandemic i started making some videos and just putting myself out there. And I remember it was really, really challenging, really, really intimidating, but I pushed myself and then I did it. And then the pandemic happened and there was just dealing with a lot of stuff. So I kind of like sat, sat it aside for a bit. It wasn't until October of 2020 when I joined this really great uh, group for coaches who are business owners that allowed me to embrace being who I am and just stepping into that. I think one of the big areas that was holding me back was just looking at all these other YouTube channels out there and comparing myself and, you know, being judgmental on, oh, I can't be like them. And, and yeah, nobody can be like anybody else because we can only just be ourselves. And so I, I uh, joined this uh, group and that was having that right support for me uh, helped me then break through that discomfort a little more. And then I started uh, conducting some interviews and uh, things started to be consistent for a little bit. And then I felt like I needed to take a break. So I took a really long pause because there was just a lot happening in 2021 with uh my day job and just everything else in my life just like everyone else had in 2020 and 2021 has had to reassess a lot of things and so i took a long pause and then i came back and relaunched in september of 2021 under this current channel confidently be you and i still kept up my i still have left up my conquer your chaos uh videos because it shows that progression. And there was some really good content on there. Um, I had some great interviews on there. And so I felt like it was important to keep that up as well as show the new channel and all the changes and progressions along the way. Since creating my channel, I've met a lot of great people. I've developed my public speaking skills even more. I've become more confident and detached from the outcome and a big part of what I wanted to talk to you about today was focusing on progress instead of perfection and perfection can hold us 
captive from doing the things that we want because we feel like things need to be a certain way or be very advanced in order to be good or be worth anything. And that's not true. We need to start from somewhere and there's in that, that gradual progress. Things take time to develop and build. Think about your favorite musician or your favorite uh, actors, uh, people who've made it big uh, and who've uh, grown a lot from their journey. It, it took time and no one has it all together from the very beginning. And even those who, who look like they have it all together, they still have their challenges. Things are not perfect for anybody. Comparing yourself to people on social media can most definitely be a huge hindrance in making any progress because people post the highlight reels of everything that they're doing and it may not be the it most likely is not the whole picture and somebody who does have a very big business that's doing really really well there's the middle steps that were required there was that progression but we don't hear about that we only see where they are right now. And it can be challenging when you're trying to create something out of nothing and you see what other people are doing and you can fall into this trap of putting people on a pedestal. And that's not good. <laughs> it, it's uh, And it's normal, everyone goes through this and it's being able to catch yourself falling into that and being able to honor yourself for who you are and what you're here to put out in the world. And because that is special too. And I think, you know, the things I admire the most is when I hear about the journeys and struggles of other people, because that's what I can relate to. Uh, and so whenever I, I like hearing stories of celebrities, actors, actors, musicians, anybody who's put, you know, who's been out there for a while who might look like they have it all together and you hear about all the different things that help them get to where they are today and and no one ever really has it all together we all have stuff no matter what stage we're at and it's just finding a way to work through all of that so is there something that you have been wanting to start in your life for a long time but you have been putting off What's holding you back? What would help you get started? A quote I wanted to share with you by Joe Sabat is, you don't have to be good to start. You just have to start to be good. So what are you waiting for? What can you do to get started right now? I frequently talk about uh, the story of my mom and how she uh, died of a heart attack back in 2007 she would frequently put off doing things for herself and would say all the time I'll, I'll do this one day i'll do that one day or i can't do this until this is taken care of and i can't do that until this is taken care of and i have letters that she used to send to me uh, back when i was in college of all these plans that she had and it was always the same stuff every year and looking at those letters now really hit me because she never got a chance to do all those things. And it's so important to not fall into the one day trap. There's something that you wanna do for yourself, whether it's for your health, with your relationships, with your career, uh, or just creating something for, that supports your passions, Whatever it is, if there's something that's important for you, just start. Don't wait. Don't get caught up in perfection. Don't get caught up in form. Just start and, and find the easiest way to get going. And then the rest will unfold. A great analogy is that imagine that there is a car driving the road at night and the headlights illuminate just a little bit in what's in front of the car. And as the car progresses, more gets illuminated along the journey. And that's what goes on once you start. You start and the rest of it will reveal itself along the way. I put together a few tips that can help you get started. First, what's your why? 
it's so important to write down why you want to do something, why it's so important to you. Because when we do that, we're able to get really, really clear on all the various components that make this so important to us, which is very helpful when things get challenging, when when things feel uncomfortable, focusing on that why is going to help pull us through. Next is focus on what you need to get started, and then you'll figure out the rest later. Again, you don't have to have it all done at once. A lot of the time, you know, we want things done right now and, and we just want to snap our fingers and have it appear magically. And I would, at least I do. And <laughs> I know that's that's, you know, the, the challenge is we, we want that outcome and we have to find ways to focus on the tasks that will eventually bring us to that outcome and focus on the joy in that journey and and the growth and, and embrace that progression. So just focus on what you need to get started and then figure out the rest later. Uh, if you're someone who wants to create a business and you want to put up a website, it doesn't have to be fancy. It, you know, just put up the basics for right now and just get started. You know, looking back, when I, when I shared about my YouTube channel, I first started with, you know, creating graphics. And even though it sat there for a little bit, at least it was a starting point. And so ask yourself, what are, what are the things I can do to get started? Maybe do a big brain dump of all the different things you want to do or that you need to do to accomplish what you want to accomplish overall. And by doing that, you can then prioritize the things start with the easiest things and then the more you get into it you'll be able to take on those more challenging tasks as you go along and finally i just wanted to add that finding the right support is everything when i started out after my coaching after getting my coaching certification i worked with some coaches who i realized weren't right for me uh, i learned some uh, great tips and tools, but it there was various aspects of the way that they emphasized certain things that just didn't work for me. They focused on certain marketing techniques and they just didn't work for my personality. Not that they're saying that they're not good, uh, it just wasn't the right fit for me, but I internalized that as being something wrong with me, that there was something wrong with who I am because this wasn't working for me. And when I found that right support, when I found the coach who did create the environment that worked well with my personality, I realized there wasn't something wrong with me. I just needed to embrace me for who I am. And so it's so important that when you want to do something that's especially challenging and uncomfortable, that you find the right support that's going to help you stretch and grow, but also feel supported in the process. And, and just remember, do not put the success of other people on a, on a pedestal. Because again, social media is the highlight reel of what everyone's doing. So you don't know what their messy middle was like to get to where they are today. And so that's their story, that's their journey. And you have your own story and your own journey and you have your own value to put out there and share with everyone else. Also, there is an oversaturation of information on the internet. So when you're looking up uh, something, how to do whatever it is that you want to create in your life, use discernment. Uh, just because one person does something, it may not feel right for you. It may not be true for you. So just remember to get clear on who you are, because that's going to help you get clear on what you want and how to create that and how to align yourself with the right people and the right actions to make that happen. And if you would like a little more support with getting something started in your life, I'd like to invite you to schedule a clarity call with me by either visiting my website at www.innerclaritywithjms.com and clicking on the clarity call uh, button, or you can visit the link uh, click on the link in my video notes below this video. Uh, these calls are complimentary. It's a one hour session. 
I will help you with something that you're working on in your life. I have an exercise that I um, send to participants and there's no obligation to purchase anything. If you wanna continue working with me after, then great. And if not, that's great too. But the offer is there if you would like some support. And that's all I have for today. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for your support. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week, everyone. Bye for now.